guys, FJ here with Northern Marine Electronics and we've got our first installment of Northern Marine Tech Talk. Today we're going to be talking about the Hummingbird Helix 7 SI GPS. First topic we're going to talk about with the Hummingbird Helix 7 SI GPS is the chart plotter and all its different options. Um, it's an HD ultra bright LED display. It's got a single single micro card SD slot. Um, intuitive touchpad key design and it's got a built-in 10 Hertz precision GPS. It also comes pre-installed with Unimap and you've got multiple chart card options provided by Navionics with Navionics hot maps, Navionics gold, and then you also got Hummingbird's Lake Master Plus, and you also have their Auto Chart and Auto Chart Live. Just a little quick overview of what Auto Chart and Auto Chart Live is for those of you who don't know. Uh, it's pretty simple. It pretty much maps out what's unmapped, or it is mapped but dated, it creates a whole new map on your chart plotter live, real time in one foot contours pretty much just grid out your lake, your pond wherever you're fishing grid it out back and forth and it maps out the bottom contours right on your unit. Alright moving on to the Helix 7's sonar capabilities it's got multiple options awesome tools so we're going to start with side imaging pretty much the side imaging what it does is it shoots an ultralight sonar beam to the right and to the left of your boat. 240 feet to your right, 240 feet to your left, and what it's going to do is going to take a snapshot of everything you've gone over from structures such as tree laydowns, rocks, fish bedding areas, wrecks, you name it. It allows you to also mark those areas <clears throat> for an easy track back. So you can mark all your fishing spots, have them marked, good to go for any fishing trip you take. Alright, moving on to down imaging. The Helix 7, bar none, probably some of the best down imaging software out there. What it does, it gives you a fisheye view of structure directly below your boat. Uh, it's used to pinpoint wrecks, rock piles, fish bedding areas, trees, gives a lifelike view of what's below your boat. can be used in a split screen option whether you got down view on one screen, side view on the other, or your chart and your down view for easy recognition of where you're at at any given time. Alright, moving on to switch fire. Switch fire comes in two modes on the Helix uh, 7. Uh, it comes in clear mode and it comes in max mode. Clear mode you're going to use on those bad weather days, murky water days, days where the wind's blowing, you got a lot of sediment in the water, and what that's going to do, it's going to eliminate the noise and clutter you see on, on, on your sonar screen. Max mode you're going to use when you really want to pinpoint and really ping, whether you're pinging on bait, game fish structure, it's going to give you a great high definition sonar image on your screen. Moving on to dual beam plus sonar. Dual beam plus sonar is pretty much two frequencies combined for an enhanced detail of what's beneath your boat. Um, you've got your narrow beam, you've got your wider beam. Narrow beam is going to be a high frequency, you're going to have less range, but you're going to have a ton of detail. So again, reading bottom, reading structure, rocks, trees, anything that's going to hold fish or hold bait. Going to the wider beam, you're going to have a lower frequency, it's going to expand your range, and then you're going to also unfortunately have less detail, but you're going to have a larger area you're covering to pinpoint those key fishing areas. Alright guys, so we've talked about charting, and we've talked about the sonar capabilities of this unit. Um, just an overview, I mean, it's got a ton of options. 
You got your options from the side view, down view, dual beam, switch fire, um, going to your chart, all the different chart card options, um, auto chart live, which is great. And then uh, I know we focused on just the seven, but you've also got bigger models. You got the nine, 10, and 12. Now when you jump into those models, you're gonna have more options. Not saying that this is an inferior unit, but with the 9, 10, and 12, you jump into being networkable. NEMA 2000, connecting 0183 devices, you name it, everything. Connecting multiple devices together via Ethernet to get, say, your, your down imaging view on one screen and your side imaging view on another. Um, that's just to name a few. So if you got any questions whatsoever, contact us at Northern Marine Electronics and uh, our website is northernmarineelectronics.com. See you then.